Jordy here for Cinecam.net and welcome to Creative Tuesday. As you can see, I'm not sitting in my couch today and that is because we have moved into our brand new office. So I thought, let's put this brand new office in the background for today's video. Now we were able to build this because of tons of sponsors here at our channel and one of them is Videoblocks. Videoblocks is a huge library where you can download user-created templates, video effects, backgrounds and tons more. And that first part where I said user created, well, you can actually also create stuff for video blocks if you want so and sell them on their library. You can find all that information on videoblocks.com or you can also follow the first link in your description below and actually get a seven day trial for free if you don't like to create stuff but just download stuff. Today we are having a look at five filmmaking gadgets under 10 bucks that we use on a daily basis and would also recommend to anyone. And we're going to start off with this screwdriver right here. Not just any screwdriver, it's actually called a flat screwdriver hammer. And what's so great about it is that it is pretty small so it fits in your bag or in your pocket and it also has a very large grip which makes it very easy to screw on a quick release plate onto your camera and you don't have to worry that it will come off. Now this thing actually goes on eBay for between one or two dollars. So you can actually get about five or six of these screwdrivers under 10 bucks. Definitely make sure to check it out. I have a link to it in your description below. Now if you don't like screwdrivers or you're just like me and keep losing stuff, then this thing right here is something for you. It's called a D-ring screw and it replaces the ring in your quick release plate. And that way you don't need a screwdriver to firmly attach it to your camera. A great screw for something around two bucks and make sure that it always sticks within your camera plate so that you won't lose this as well. And now that you have your camera sitting on that quick release plate on your tripod, you can start filming yourself. But who's going to press that start stop button? Well, then this here will come in pretty handy. It's a wired remote control to start or stop the recording of your camera. There's also a variant of that which is a wireless control. Now we actually use this remote control for a different use. Our GH5 sits actually in a rig and we are always holding the camera up front. And with this remote we can attach it to that handle and start stop the camera from there. And that way we don't have to bring our hands all the way to the back and kind of lose every time a couple of seconds that are just thrown away. Now the wired control just comes in at around seven bucks somewhere and you can just attach it to your camera and have one button to start and stop the recording. The wireless control right here is from Landpart. They actually send us this unit, so thank you guys for that. It works also great uh, and is wireless, but it costs you something around 50 bucks and I haven't found it yet on eBay or some other dealer, so it might not be out yet, but uh, that's another option as well. Perfect, your camera is rolling. You're ready now to shoot that film. And you might want to use one of these. This one right here is an IKEA desk light. You can find similar ones on eBay for just underneath 10 bucks. Now, fun fact, Shane Hurlbut, he's a cinematographer who works for Hollywood, actually has a couple of these in his bag when he is out shooting something. Now, these lights are great to use them as a practical light and create a very unique atmosphere. And we actually have a video where we show you guys how to use one of these lights on a lighting setup. So make sure to check out that video. You can click in the cards up there or also find a link to it in the description below to go to that video. Your camera is rolling and your lights are set up, so now you are ready to shoot that product video. And we always use foam boards for that. Foam boards are very sturdy and they are white. So that makes them perfect to shoot clean product videos. You only need one softbox or maybe two to light the entire scene. Make sure that you have a bottom foam board and a back foam board. And that way you can shoot your products professionally without much equipment. Now foam boards are usually used to print on advertisements. So that means you can find them probably in any store locally. But we also have a link to eBay in the description below which goes to a 50 on 50 centimeter foam board. And that goes for just underneath 10 bucks. So uh, you can check that out as well. So that was the list. I hope that you guys have found some gadget that might be helpful to you. We're going to edit this video right now in our brand new office. And while doing so, we're going to stay creative. So make sure that you will stay creative too. Stay creative. And thanks for watching. <laughs> awesome.